Um, again, Kaiser Permanente, the official team physician of the Golden State Warriors, have given us some tips on mental health, um, especially in times like this. We all know for, for our young campers um, and really everybody that's kind of stuck in the house, um, practicing social distancing, just like myself and Coach Chris, um, and, and we know that that hinders a little bit on um, us being able to be social with our friends, all that good stuff. Obviously, we're not in the court playing with our friends and, and competing against everybody. Um, so make sure that with that being said, we want to keep our mental health as, as good as possible. Um, so we have been given a few tips by Kaiser on how to do that. Um, first one is, is keeping a routine. Um, one thing that I think is very important is keep a routine. Give yourselves a couple tasks to do, whether it's make your bed as soon as you wake up, um, try to wake up at the same time each day. Give yourself a routine of what you're gonna do. Um, another tip they, give, they gave us is obviously try to stay off of the screen, off of the phone and TV. Um, try to limit that to about two hours a day. Um, again, we understand that we're in the house and, and we're, we're stuck right now while we're social practicing social distancing. We can't go to school. However, that doesn't mean we need to be on our phones playing games all day, playing video games all day, um, do other things. So again, another tip was to, to try and exercise. Exercise at least 30 minutes a day. Um, for those of you who are with us, you obviously get that, um, but it, it's not limited to just 30 minutes. Make sure you do um, as much as you'd like, obviously with staying healthy. And, uh, and, and staying fit the entire time. So just a couple things that Kaiser gave us, a couple tips for us to practice our mental health. Um, the good thing about today is, again, at the end, one thing that we mentioned, we will have a, a guest with us um, that's gonna practice some mental fitness drills with us. So we will introduce him here pretty soon, but uh, something that ties into our, our whole theme of the day. So uh, we just wanted to mention that before we get started. Um, so let's get to it now, let's get to it. Right now, all you'll need is your basketball. Um, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our right hand. Um, I'll tell you everything that we got. We're gonna do, first of all, pound dribble. So we're gonna start toe level. Once I tell you to go waist level, we're gonna go waist level. Once I tell you to go shoulder level, we'll go back to shoulder level and we'll go all the way back down. Okay, so Coach Chris is gonna demonstrate real quick. He's gonna start toe level. Once I say go waist level, he's going straight to waist level. Perfect, shoulder level, straight to shoulder level. Waist, go back to waist level, toe, and back down. Okay, you can hold it real quick. So that's what it's gonna look like, all right? So I'll be giving you guys the commands as we go. Um, it's not necessarily a certain amount of time or a certain amount of dribbles. I'll just be telling you guys what to do um, the entire time. We wanna make sure we stay in a good stance. We should really feel a burn in our arm, but the most important thing, especially as we get up, we wanna pound that basketball, all right? So let's put it in our right hand and let's get started with toe dribbles right away. Let's go. Good, toe dribbles. To really make it even a little bit harder, really try to lock that elbow if you can. Try to keep that arm straight. Now let's go to waist level, waist level. Good, staying still in the stance, pounding that basketball. Coach Chris doing a great job of pounding that ball, keeping his head and eyes up. Let's go shoulder level. Good, this one you're really trying to pound it. Obviously something we don't do in a game, trying to dribble shoulder level, just trying to really control it. Waist. Perfect, perfect, really pounding that basketball, head and eyes up. He even has his guy in hand up. Toe level. Perfect. And we're gonna switch to our left hand, go toe level dribble in three, two, one, and switch. Right into it, keep going, keep going, perfect. Nice, waist level. Perfect, good job. Shoulder. Good, really pounding it through the ground. Pound that basketball, keep your head and eyes up, challenge yourself. Perfect, waist. And right back down the toe. Perfect, and hold it, hold it, hold the ball. Nice work. All right, how you feeling, coach? Good. Feel a little burn? Yes, sir. There we go, okay. Next thing we're gonna do with this circuit, um, we're gonna do, it's gonna be a continuous drill. So we've done something similar before where we've done two pound crossover, but that, now what we're gonna do is a two pound crossover, two pounds behind the back, two pounds through the legs. Okay, so it's an entire circuit. So show us that real quick. One, two, cross. One, two, behind the back. One, two, through the legs. Okay, and then we're gonna keep going. Two cross, two behind the back, two through the legs. All right, Coach Chris, you can hold it. Um, again, we're trying to get, so actually, I'm sorry. Coach Chris, can you show us uh, one rep? So two pounds cross, two pounds behind the back. 
and two pounds through the leg, that's one. All right, so we're gonna do 10 reps of this. 10 reps of this um, and try to go as quick as we can. All right, ready and go. Good, two pounds cross, behind the back, through the legs, that's one. Third cross, behind the back, through the legs, two. There we go, try to go as quick as you can. Really pound that basketball. Again, most importantly, he's doing a great job of staying in stance and not moving his feet. His feet are stagnant, not moving at all. Doing a great job with that. Perfect. Trying to get 10 reps. If you lose the basketball again, as we say, it's okay. That means you're challenging yourself, getting out of, out of your comfort zone. So we like that. Nice work, coach. Keep it up. Keep working. Perfect, perfect. That's 10 reps. Um, for those of you who are going, we'll still let some people finish up real quick. Um, Coach Chris, as you guys are finishing up, you guys can watch. Coach Chris is now going to stagger his feet. He's going to have his right foot in front of his left foot. Um, just a little bit, and we're just going to do a continuous through the legs. So it's just going to go back and forth, nice short dribbles through the legs. Um, as we start, we're going to start nice and tight, as, as Coach Chris did. Once I tell him to go to wide dribbles, just like the crossover we've done, he's going to go to wide dribbles and really pound that basketball. Okay, so just like we did earlier when I was tell, giving you guys the commands, you guys are just going to continue to go as I command you guys, all right? Now we're going to keep our right foot in front, go continuous through the legs nice and tight, and we'll get started in three, two, one, and let's go. Good, nice short dribbles, nice small, the ball's not getting too wide, perfect. Now let's go wide. Nice, really pound that basketball. It's a little bit more difficult to control when you go wide. Good, back to tight, back to tight dribbles. Nice work, nice work. Keeping the head and eyes up. And wide, widen it out, perfect. Pound that basketball, great work, great work. And hold it up. Perfect, now we're gonna do that same set again. That same exact set again. Um, so now we're gonna start. We're gonna go back to our pound dribble. Did we do the left hand? Pound dribble with the left hand. Start in toe level, start in toe level. Here we go. Ready and go. Knee level. Perfect, and shoulder level. Nice work. Pound that basketball, good, back to waist. And toe, nice work. And I remember we did switch it, so now we're gonna switch hands in three, two, one, and go. Now to our right hand, good. Toe level, nice work. We're gonna go up to waist. Shoulder level, pounding, pounding. Nice work, you should really feel the burn. Waist level. right back down the toe. Great work, great work, great work. Okay, and hold it. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do two pound cross, two pounds through the, uh, behind the back, two pounds through the leg. So we're doing another 10 reps. 10 reps, we'll get started here in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, two pound cross, two pound behind the back, two pound through the legs. That's one, we're doing 10 reps. Trying to challenge ourselves, trying to get through quicker and quicker each time. Trying to go as fast as we can, not moving our feet. Must bend our knees, keep our back straight, head and eyes up. Try not to think about the basketball too much. It's just, just an extension of our hand. Nice, two more. 10, great work, great work. All right, we'll let a couple people finish. For those of you who are still finishing, um, once you guys are done, we're going to get right into staggering our feet. This time he's going to have his left foot in front of his right. Um, and again, we're just going to repeat the same process. So he's going to start with tight, continuous through the legs. As I say wide, he'll widen out the dribble and pound that dribble a little bit harder. All right? We'll get started here in five seconds. Make sure you're nice and set. Perfect. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Good. Nice, tight dribbles. Nice, let's go wide. Widen it out. 
Perfect. Back to tight dribble. Back to tight. Perfect. Quickly wide. Wide. Nice. Tight dribble. And hold it up. Nice work. Nice work. Let's get some water. Everybody get some water. as you guys get water um, again take your time make sure you're staying hydrated always staying hydrated while you guys are working out we know it's been uh, especially hot the last few days this entire week's been really really hot so uh, one thing that again Kaiser Permanente has, has given us some tips with and something we all should know is to stay hydrated not just during the workout but the entire day okay we actually burn a lot of sweat which is a good thing we sweat quite a bit um, so we want to make sure we rehydrate throughout the entire day Okay, especially on hot days. Um, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna need our tennis ball. So let's grab our tennis ball. Um, we're gonna do the same series we've done before. Again, some drills that we learned from our guy, Stephen Curry. Um, Coach Chris has, has been taught by Steph himself and, and been able to practice quite a bit. So again, for those of you who are watching and trying these drills out, just know that if I was doing the drills, I'd be going a lot slower than Coach Chris. So I say that to let you guys know, don't be discouraged if you can't quite keep up with Coach Chris. Um, it's, it's been really cool to see his improvement with these particular drills um, over the last couple years. So we want you guys to be encouraged and know that you guys can pretty soon get as fast as he is with these drills and, and, and just as sharp. All right, so the first one we're going to start with, he's going to be bouncing the basketball um, in, his, in his, are you starting right-handed? Right -handed? He's going to uh, bounce the basketball on his right hand. With his left hand, he's just going to toss the ball up and catch it. Okay, one thing I will say to try and focus on, he's doing a good job, but when he tosses the ball up, he turns his hand over to catch it. He doesn't just toss and catch the same way. All right, makes you focus on that a little bit more. And again, not really worried about the basketball, okay? We'll get started here in three, two, one, and go. Nice. Keeping the basketball, the dribble nice and low. Coach Chris is even thinking about the basketball. It's just human, it's just his nature now to just keep it about knee level. Okay, really focus on that tennis ball. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna keep it in the same hand. Now he's gonna bounce the tennis ball as well. So as he's bouncing the basketball, he's gonna bounce the tennis ball and catch that, just like they show us real quick. Perfect, almost like he's dribbling both. Okay, it doesn't have to be at the same time. If you guys notice one thing, Coach Chris is bouncing the basketball more times than he's bouncing the tennis ball. So it's not bouncing them both at the same time. He's just bouncing the basketball, not thinking about it. It's an extension of his hand while he's focusing on taking his time, bouncing the tennis ball up and catching it. All right, we'll get started here in three, two, one, and go. Great work, good, good. Not thinking about that basketball. That's the focus of the drill. Trying not to think too much about dri dribbling the basketball, just trusting that's gonna be right where we need it to be. Perfect, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, nice work. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same thing, same similar thing, but this time he's gonna do one move in between. So are you gonna go through the legs? Okay, we're gonna do through the legs. If you can't, if you don't feel comfortable doing through the legs, that's fine. You can do a regular crossover. Um, but Coach Chris, can you show us what that looks like? He's gonna bounce the basketball, bounce the tennis ball, do a crossover, and catch it with the other hand. Okay, so same thing, bounce the tennis ball, catch it with the other hand. Again, he did through the legs and did a crossover just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, so we want you guys to challenge yourself. If you feel comfortable trying to go through the legs and catch it, that's fine. If you need to do a regular crossover, that's fine. If you want to switch it up, go behind the back or do different moves each time, we want to give you guys some freedom, have some fun with it. All right, so that's what we'll do. We're going to get started here in three, two, one, and go. Great work, great work. Perfect, and we're gonna stop in three, two, one, and relax. Okay, now the last one we're gonna do, we're gonna do two moves in between. So it's a double crossover, across through the legs, whatever you wanna do. Again, we're, tr we're gonna try and give you guys some freedom. Coach Chris, can you show us what that looks like real quick? He's gonna bounce the basketball, two moves, and catch it, okay? Obviously, you have to be really quick with it. Okay, now we're gonna try and see how many of those we can do in 30 seconds. First, we're gonna go for about 20 or 30 seconds just as a practice, and then we'll do a challenge here, all right? 
Um, just so you guys know, these are the last couple of drills before we get started into something pretty cool. Again, we have some mental fitness training uh, tying into what, what we were talking about with Kaiser Permanente. We have a special guest here going to join us soon. Um, but before we do that, we want to do these last couple drills, do a challenge, um, really try to get a sweat going. All right. So again, we'll do a couple rounds of it. Um, first time, we're just going to be practice. So you don't need to necessarily catch, uh, uh, keep score or keep track of how many you get. You're just trying to get it down. All right, Coach Chris, you ready? Sure. Let's get started in three, two, one, and go. Very difficult drill, very difficult. It should be difficult for everybody out there. Good, in three, two, one, and relax. All right, nice work, nice work. Now we're gonna get to our challenge. So again, we're trying to do that. We're trying to see how many of those we can pull off in 30 seconds. So I'm getting my clock ready here. We're gonna go 30 seconds. We're gonna do two rounds of this, two rounds of this. So let's see if we can get it down, try to get as many as we can in 30 seconds. We're gonna get started here. Coach Chris, you ready? Okay, we're gonna get started here in three, two, one, and go. Make sure you keep track of how many you're getting. Perfect, we're at 15 seconds. No worries, no worries. Keep work, keep working, keep working. Three, two, one, and stop. Coach, what'd you get? 16. Coach Chris just got 16. Make sure you comment. Let us know what you guys got. We're going to give you guys a, a second to rest up and go one more round with this challenge. One more round. We're going to see if we can beat 16 over here. We want everybody to do the same that's watching with us, all right? See if you can get 15 or more. Um, obviously a pretty impressive number. Okay, so we'll give you guys about 10 more seconds to relax, then we'll do our last 30 second routine. How you feeling, coach? Ready to go? Try to be 16. Here we go. We're gonna get started here. We're gonna go 30 seconds. Get started in three, two, one, and go. Nice work. Perfect, we have five, four, three, two, one, and stop. What'd you get? 24. 24. Wow, shout out to Kobe Bryant. 24, obviously a pretty high number, again, do me a favor, comment, make sure you let us know how many you got. 24 is obviously a pretty high number. One thing that I do like, and one thing that we love to see is the fact that Coach Chris um, improved actually pretty dramatically from round one to two, all right? So not everybody will have that much of an improvement. He got 16 the first time. If you go from 16 to 18, that's pretty realistic, pretty good still. If you go 16 to 20, anything like that, um, the fact that you got from 16 to 24 obviously is pretty impressive. So. Um, that's it with the ball handling section of, of, of this uh, workout today. Um, one thing we want to do before we get to our special guest, I'm actually going to have a special guest um, with us. I'm going to call him in here in just a second and have him join. Uh, but before we do that, real quick, we just want to mention one thing. We know that the, the workout portion of this, and, and we're not done with the workout portion, but the ball handling segment and, and what you guys are used to was a little bit shorter. Um, but we do want to encourage everybody to take this stuff, obviously, outside of this workout. So if you know, you're know you at home practicing this right now, we understand you don't need too many resources to, to work on your game. Continue to do these drills. We're on every Tuesday and Thursday, we understand that. You guys should be doing this every other day of the week as well. Take some of these drills, have some, have some fun with it, be creative, all right? Um, but before we get going, we do have a, a special guest. He's gonna try and help us with our, our mental fitness. He's a mental fitness trainer, um, Graham Betchert. He's, he's gonna really get us going. Um, 
I do want to make sure that we're clear about one thing. He, he actually has some, some exercises that we're going to do. So we're going to pay attention and listen to him, uh, but we're actually going to, the, going to actually participate in some exercises as well. So again, Graham Betchart with Train the Mind. Um, I'm going to actually add him in here real quick, make sure we pay attention. Let's give him some, uh, our attention and, and really have some fun with it. Graham, how we doing, man? Doing great, Coach Jose. How are you, man? Can you see me okay? Everything cool? Yeah, we can see you great. We appreciate you joining us as well. Um, again, I don't want to take too much of your time. We have myself and Coach Chris here. If you need any, any type of demonstration or anything like that, Coach Chris is obviously willing to help. Uh, but we want to turn the floor over to you. We yep. appreciate you joining us, and we want to make sure you get all your time, all right? Thank you, Coach Jose. And I am Coach Chris. Why don't you stand up, Coach Chris? I'm going to need you, Chris. So stand up. Great to see Coach Chris. And great to see everybody here. So we got about 10 minutes together. I'm Graham Betchard. I'm a mental skills coach. We're just going to go over a real quick couple skills that you can work on. We're going to finish with a meditation. And then we're going to encourage you to go practice some of these skills. So let me just teach right off the bat. And Coach Chris, I've been working with Coach Chris for years, so he knows a lot of this. Right off the bat, the first thing we're going to work on is how do we respond? How do we respond? And I want you to think about this. How many times have you watched a basketball game and you've seen someone miss a layup or you've seen someone get fouled and there was no call and you saw them react like this? They put their palms up and they go, what? Why didn't I get a call? Like, why didn't that happen? Right. And they're doing this. Can everyone, everyone do this? Everyone put your palms up just like this right now. We've seen this, right? We've seen coaches do it. We've seen players do it. And when you're doing this, you're taking yourself out of the game, right? So here's what we want to do. When something doesn't go our way, right? We miss a shot. We don't get a call. It's going to happen. We turn our palms over and we're cool under pressure. Just like this, we're palms down. So now look at Coach Chris, right? Say he, he misses a layup. Instead of doing this right away, boom, in his mind, he's just like this. He's like, I'm going to choose my response and I'm moving on to that next play. I'm moving on to that next play. Coach Chris, thank you so much. Sure. So I want everyone thinking about this. When no matter what's going on in the game, we have to move forward. I'm sure you've heard of next play. Everyone's heard of this before. But sometimes we get caught not moving on to that next play, right? We're doing this. So instead of doing this, I want everyone practicing doing this with everything you do. Let's say you're doing a drill that Coach Chris is having you do. Those are advanced drills with a tennis ball, right? You're doing all this stuff. Let's say you dribble it off your foot. Instead of doing this and being like, oh, why'd that happen to me? Hey, so what, next play? Go grab that tennis ball, get it back, and come right back to it. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay. So we want to be a palms down player. And that means, just like Coach Chris is doing, no matter what happens in the game of basketball, we choose our response. We don't just react like this. We don't just do that. We choose our response. So I want everyone here watching this, I want you to stand up just like Coach Chris. I want you to get in an athletic position. And we're going to start like this, right? We're going to start like this. We're going to pretend something just didn't go our way. Now turn it over, palms down. So what, next play? Yeah, just like that. So what, next play? Look at your body language. Look how much more powerful body language Chris has when his palms are down as opposed to when we're kind of like a victim like this. Like, I can't believe this just happened, right? So no palms up. We're all palms down. And that's what we're going to practice. So going forward now with everything you're doing with basketball, everything we're doing with the Warriors camps, we're palms down in every situation. Something doesn't go my way. So what next play? I'm on that. I'm on that. So what next play? And this is something we have to practice. So as you're watching basketball and you're noticing, notice how many times do you see people do this? How many times do you see something not go someone's way and they do this? And they take themselves out of the moment. They take themselves out of the present. So we are going to be palms down players. We have to practice this all the time. Okay, guys? Great job, Coach Chris. I appreciate that. Okay, now, Coach Chris, we're going to do a meditation. So I'd like you to sit down. Just sit down right where you are. Yep, cross your legs. And I'm going to invite everybody here who's on this to sit down as well. To sit down. And I want you to sit up tall, Chris. Shoulders back. Sit up tall. Beautiful. Just like Chris, look at Coach Chris right there. Perfect meditation position. Now I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. And I'd like you to bring your focus to your breath. So simply start to focus on your breath right now. Beautiful job. And I want you to feel that air come in through your nose. Slowly breathe it out through your mouth. 
as you let yourself merge right into this present moment right now. Good. Simply breathe and be. I'd like you to notice if you have any thoughts popping up in your mind, simply notice those thoughts, but don't grab onto them. Just observe them. And now I want you to notice how your body feels. And if you have any tension in your body, I want you to imagine that tension just relaxing and relaxing, relaxing. And now that you are present and here, I want you to imagine you're on the basketball court right now. Imagine you have the ball in your hand. And I want you to see that there's nine other players on the court. You're in the middle of a pressure packed game. It's packed. The stands are filled. There's tons of energy. And as you have the ball in your hand, you put on your favorite move and bam, you go right by the defender. But as soon as you go by the defender, you can feel your arm being pulled down. You're getting fouled, but there's no whistle. And in this moment, instead of being palms up, you decide to be palms down. So even though you got fouled, you immediately move on to the next play. So smooth. And now you're running back on defense and you're running so fast, you tip the ball from behind. And now you're back on offense and your teammate has the ball. Your teammate throws you the ball and you're going right to the rim for the layup. You go up strong, you finish it. And as you finish that layup, you simply bring your focus right back to your breath right now, right back to where you are. And as you find your breath again, in your mind, you tell yourself, I am a palms down player. I move on to the next play fast. I choose my response in every situation. Beautiful. And now I want you just to bring your focus back to your breath. Just let yourself breathe in naturally. And I'd like you to take another breath or two on your own. And then everyone, when you feel ready, I want you to slowly and gently open your eyes back up and start to bring yourself back to where we are. Take your time. All right. Great work, Chris. Chris, way to be our model right there. That's a beautiful meditation you just did right there. Grateful. Great job, everyone. So we just did what I call an MVP. The M stands for meditation, which means we just found our breath for about two minutes, right? That's all we did. Your breath is the key to bring you into the present moment because your breath is happening right now. So after we meditated, I had you visualize. I had you visualize you had the ball in your hand. You put a move on and you got fouled, but there was no call. So I had you imagining going on to that next play, right? Not being a victim, yelling at the ref. No, palms down, next play. And then you went back and got the steal. And as soon as you got that steal, you had a layup. Bam, that's how we do it. Then you came back and you said some affirmations to yourself. I move on to the next play fast, stuff like that. Then we wrapped it up. So that's a little technique you can practice every day. The drills you're learning with Coach Jose and Coach Chris and Coach Perkins, you can practice this in your mind. You can visualize doing these drills all the time. And I want you to practice being a palms down player, meaning no matter what happens, I move on to that next play with ease. I'm palms down. I'm never a victim. This is how I do it. So. Great job, everyone. I just wanted 10 minutes with everyone. Now it's practice, right? Just like you practice with Coach Chris, Coach, Ho Coach Jose, you got to practice your mental game. So, Coach Jose, when do we practice being present? Right now. <laughs> like right now, right? So we always practice being where we are, everyone. Grateful for my time. Thank you, Coach Jose. This has been amazing, man. Graham, we appreciate you just as much. Um, we're very grateful as well. Obviously, some great techniques and things I think that are very important for – uh, players of all age levels and skill levels. So, man, we, we really appreciate it. Um, we hope to have you back soon for sure, something that we'll definitely be using. Um, and thank you for the time, man. We hope to see and talk to you soon. Grateful. All right, everyone. Talk to you all soon. All right, man. We'll see you. First of all, we appreciate, uh, obviously, a new little twist, and we appreciate you guys staying on with us and, and trying those stuff that stuff out. It was obviously pretty neat and pretty beneficial, um, and, and we hope something that you guys continue to use. 
Um, we do want to say that we, we have some digital camps for you guys that are coming up this summer. The first one is already sold out. So go visit our website, gswacademy.com. Make sure you get some information on it and, and, and learn how to register. It's relatively easy to register, but spots are filling up quickly. Um, a little bit more interactive. Obviously, you guys can see us. You guys are paying attention to our coaching, but um, with, our, with our digital camps, it'll be pretty cool because we'll be able to see you guys and give you some live feedback, um, you know, obviously digitally, um, and then continue to coach you guys and help you guys get better and improve. So we appreciate everybody. Um, we hope to see you guys back here soon. We'll see you guys next Tuesday. Later.